Okay, hey guys. I am going to do a real quick video. Got to pick up my little ones from school in just about 20 minutes. So, this is going to have to be a short video. But I wanted to show you a little project. Let me see if I can get this a little closer to the camera there. Okay, let's see if you can see that. These are little pendants, little bottle cap pendants that uh, me and my little ones have been working on. You can see um, they have a little bale on the back of them. Well, if I could get it in focus. There we go. And, you know, they're, I filled them with resin, used a punch to punch out my um, little circles from my little swipies. And, you know, these don't look, to me, they don't look as nice as, say, the rectangular ones or the square ones like that are made with the, uh, you know, like the antique brass and stuff. But they're cute. You know, I think they're cute little trinkets for, like, little craft fairs or something like that. So, this is what me and my little ones were working on the other day. And these two, I'm just going to show you a close-up of these two because my little... Ella Bella did this one and this is her swipe she did this on her own and this one is from my little Nora and she did this swipe all on her own they love to do the swipes when we are all done painting so um, yeah they're probably gonna have their own line of <laughs> swipey pendants so uh, and as you can see um, the reflection we put resin in them as well so they're pretty cool um, they dried real nice. So, if you want to buy a pendant from my little Ella or my little Nora, they are seven and eight years old. So, they love to um, help mommy out painting and they love to be on the videos. So, um, you know, if you guys want to buy any of these, just email me or write a comment and, and uh, you know, I could probably send these out in just like a regular postage envelope. So, it would be super cheap. So, anyway, that's that. On to the painting. I'm kind of out of breath because it's hot, really super hot, and jumping up and down in that stupid chair, <laughs> in that chair, um, over and over again to get my thing to focus, it takes a little bit. Okay, so, this is going to be simple pour, so I got my good clothes on, so hopefully it's not going to be a mess. Uh, so, for my green, I have a mixture of... They're all Artist Loft except for one. Um, Artist Loft Green Yellow, Artist Loft Light Green, and Artist Loft Sap Green. Just a little bit of this. I really wanted just the light green, but I didn't have much left, so I mixed some of that in there, and then just a little bit of that in there. And I pretty much got close to the light green. So I'm happy with that. And then we've got the Artist Loft Turquoise, which is a gorgeous color. And then this is sort of my version of Burnt Sienna because I don't have any burnt sienna. I thought I did, but I have burnt umber. So I mixed it with the red ochre. And it just sort of tones down the red ochre. It kind of makes this real warm, warm brown. It's pretty cold. And then the blue is a mixture of Artist Loft Ultramarine and a little bit of the Apple Barrel True Navy just to dull it down a little bit because this Ultramarine is super, super bright. And I don't always like the way it comes out in paintings. It if you don't pair it with the exact right colors, it comes out way too bright. I hope my head, <laughs> I hope my head, my hat was not in the, in the view. Okay, so, quick, quick pour. Just going to be simple. One flip cup in the middle. I love these colors. They're soothing to me. Browns and greens and blues and turquoises are just, they're just calming. <laughs> I've had kind of a crummy week, so... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to cheer me up a bit, just to have, so hopefully I'll get, you know, uh, all the colors will come through, because not always, I don't always get all the colors to come through, and I really want a little bit of everything in there. I'm just stirring my paints real quick, because I put silicone in everything, just a few drops. I don't always put silicone in everything, sometimes I do, sometimes I'm in the mood to put it in there, and sometimes I'm not. So I even put it in the white. Although, it doesn't seem to make much difference if I put it in my white, because my white never shows up. 
but we're going to start with some white a good amount of white you can see it's like up to here on the cup maybe that'll make a difference uh, and then some dark blue and I, I did something different to the back I covered it up because I don't know I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of these paintings looking disastrously messy on the back side of them which they always do I'm such a messy painter and you know I get my hands all in the paint and then I put my hand on the back of the canvas and it just gets covered in it I don't know it doesn't look it yeah it looks like a real painting but not entirely professional to me and yeah I'm not a professional I'm not claiming to be <laughs> for sure and I'm doing I'm just pouring these in at about I don't know six inches Open for some, I'm not getting a lot of cell action coming up, but who knows what it'll do when it, uh, there we go. And a little more white, sort of blend everything together. That is a full cup, way too much paint for this tiny little canvas. Well, it's not tiny, it's a 10 inch by 10 inch. But still, that is a little much. All that's in my paints are, are the paints, uh, distilled cold water, and then, um, the silicone a little bit of silicone and that's the crc spray it into a glass jar let it sit outside for a few minutes so the fumes can kind of go away and then bring it in and put it in my in my cups so i've got some pretty little cells in the cup i'm hoping that means something good this is so much paint it's not even funny i flip it over and i'm just gonna oh look at those colors oh so so pretty and look at the cells coming up already. Oh, they're pretty. I hope that means I'm not going to lose them. Because every time I get these big, beautiful cells, as soon as I pour it out, I lose them. And I really don't want to lose those big, pretty cells because they really bring out the other color in there. And you can see some white. So that, look at that cup. Okay, so let's just, oh, let's fire it. Look at my torch. It is happy again. You know why? Because my husband cleaned out all that paint from around there because <laughs> I'm so messy. And there's a little button right here. Duh. I must have like pushed it over to the side while I've been fussing with it for the past few months. And yeah, that turns off the gas to my little flamer. So, duh. Make sure your little button on the side because I was all set to go out and buy me a new torch. But look, it's awesome. Look at these cells. I haven't even torched it yet. They're beautiful. <gasps> wow. Okay, let's see what torching is going to do. It's going to pop all those bubbles, of course. Bring up a lot of little white spots, cells. I'm just holding this about, oh, I don't know, four, four, five, six inches above the paint. Don't want to burn the paint. All right. Let's get this moving here. Oh, those cells are so pretty. I really don't want to lose a bunch of them. Let's see if we can go to, because I really kind of want that to go off anyway. So, maybe if we kind of go around in a oh, circle. I always end up trying to do this slowly and then I have no patience, so I just pour it all off really fast. Mm, look how big those cells got. Need to come off of this side. There we go. Bring it back a little bit. You know what? That is cool. I'm liking it. I'm not thrilled about this little section through here because that cell is way too stretched. And I got this corner here I need to cover. Let's see if I can find my palette knife. Whoa, and I just dumped all my clean little cups back into the sink. Fantastic. I'm going to have to rewash them. <laughs> oh, well. An artist's life, right? We're always doing something goofy, boneheaded, stupid. It makes our life harder. I don't know if this corner needs it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and grab that corner. Yeah, it didn't even think it did. And this one, I can see, does. And this one, they all needed some attention, some love. There we go. 
So, I'm gonna just gonna look at all the cell action. I haven't even torched it again. And I know hopefully this corner will sort of do something pretty because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, because it needs to. It's so active. This really bothers me though, that long stretched out cell. No, I probably shouldn't mess with it. Every time something in the corner bothers me, I, sh I ruin it by stretching my paint too far. I'm going to go over this corner right here. See if we can get a little more action in this corner because it's kind of boring. And there we go. Getting some cells in there. It was just too solid compared to everything else. Take it over real quick. I really don't want to bring up any more cells. And it's going to keep doing its little business for the next five or ten minutes. So when I get back from picking up the kitties, then I'll see what it's really going to turn out to be. Oh, now see that fixed, that kind of fixed this corner because I brought up more cells here and it kind of brought them up in the center there. And look at that one. Man, I'm happy with this. I really am. I love the colors together. The browns, the greens, the turquoises. They're just, they're just calming. Okay, nothing's gonna come up through that little, that little dealio right there. Just kind of hoping. Oh, I gotta watch it. Sometimes I, I like focus on one cell and I get too close. All right, I think that's it for, for it. There we go. That is pretty. Let me bring you down real quick so you can see. A little closer, some of those gorgeous cells. Oh man, I'm just loving the colors and the cells in this thing. It's just pretty. Look at the, uh, just love it when we get these beautiful round cells. I don't get these very often. I always stretch them out and ruin them. But man, I'm happy. Yay, they're so pretty. And see that corner? It's got a lot of little cells going on. But they're cute too. Look at that. I think we got some twins right there. And that corner kind of fixed itself with all those green cell, little bitty cells coming up. And look at the way the brown and the turquoise and whatever color that is, white probably, kind of blend in. Look kind of watery. Look like it's like an ocean above it okay guys I'm super psyched about this one I really love this one I just wanted it to be a simple pour today I haven't done a real simple one in a long while and it was time simple pours make me happy 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 so I want to thank everyone who watches my videos and everyone who actually subscribes to me y'all are totally awesome and then those people that comment on a regular basis y'all make my day so thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments. And wherever you are on the planet, have an awesome evening, night, day, morning, whatever, wherever you are. See you later. Bye.